King Charles had his first state dinner as monarch with South African President Cyril Ramaphosa at Buckingham Palace in one of his first big moments as the kingdom's leader. However, Kate, Princess of Wales, stole the show as she drew all the attention during the event. The Daily Mail's diary editor Richard Eden noticed the king is facing the same situation he did with Princess Diana. Speaking to Palace Confidential, the Daily Mail's diary editor Richard Eden said, I think he's getting used to it. Isn't he? Remember the day the Charles was proclaimed king? He wasn't on the front pages because the Sunday papers had all that walkabout at Windsor with Catherine, William, Harry, and Meghan. I'm sure it does wrangle a bit. He was sort of known to be resentful when Diana used to get all the headlines. Now he's king but it's Catherine on the front pages. Mr. Eden said, but it was Catherine who was wearing the finest jewellery. People love to see her. Handsome man though Charles is, I think we're in the business of selling papers. So, we do want the most appealing person on our front pages. Kate took all the attention away from the new monarch as she amazed the public with a stunning white dress and lover's not tiara, which was a wedding gift to Princess Diana, at the Buckingham Palace State Banquet on Tuesday night. The Princess of Wales had all eyes on her as she wore £14,500 brooch on her blue sash, previously spotted at Remembrance Day service earlier this month. Her show-stealing outfit is reminiscent of Princess Diana's time in the firm when she used to make headlines while members of the royal family and then Prince Charles were overshadowed by her stunning appearances. Buckingham Palace saw its first foreign state visit since Donald Trump's pre-pandemic travel to London with then First Lady Melania Trump. King Charles welcomed Cyril Ramaphosa to London for his two-day state visit at a difficult time for the South African president who faces backlash at home over unemployment levels and a return to power outages affecting households, businesses and schools across the country. Mr. Ramaphosa is also in the grip of a potentially explosive corruption scandal known as Farmgate in which he is accused of allegedly covering up a robbery that took place at his private farm. Fala Fala, back in February 2020. The investigation could cost him his bid to get re-elected in 2024, as his party is set to pick its presidential candidate for the upcoming election this year.